Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to episode 34 of the Sharpshooters Podcast. I'm your humble and gracious host, Mr. Brinsky Sharp, aka Mr. B Sharp, on the ones and twos, the threes, the fours, and the fives, and the sixes, and all that good stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, I got my partners in the house, and I got a very, very special guest in the house tonight. But I'm going to uh, bring him up last. But before I bring the uh, guys up, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Appreciate uh, everybody that's been uh, supporting the channel. We're still on the road to uh, 500 subscribers. And without further ado, we got the fellas in here. We got the lawyer himself, Mr. Arlon. Yes, sir. What Still at work. <laughs> free, free stopped. everybody. <laughs> free everybody. <laughs> in My Still at work on the pod. My dog. <laughs> What's going on, bro? My big cousin, Mr. Jason Walker, ladies and gentlemen. Always happy to be here, man. <laughs> oh, my four six boy. He all the way in Denver, Colorado. My dog. Quint. You know hey man, it. you need to see if your uh people let you get back in the skybox, man. It's the playoffs, man. You you would have caught two great they games. Can't, they, dog. Can't do, they can't do the playoffs. That's it. They can't do the playoffs. Oh, they they so lame. They're gonna have you in the skyball during the regular season, but not during the playoffs. <laughs> so they, they losing out on money, you know. Yeah, shoot. Like I said, man, I'm trying to make it to the sky <laughs> ball. So I'm trying to get to this guy, <laughs> my main man, my dog, my other big homie, Tess. What's going on? I think you're on mute, dog. Yeah, you're right. What's the deal? <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, a uh, very, very special guest on the show. Appreciate this brother for even uh coming up on the show. Uh he's one fourth for the crew season, one of the, my favorite podcasts out of him, and one of the funniest people on it. And also, ladies and gentlemen, he has a hidden talent. He's a virt he's the virtual defensive coordinator for the Dallas Cowboys <laughs> every game, ladies and gentlemen. Without further ado. One four for the crew season. My dog, Mr. OT. What's going on, brother? What's up, mate? What's up, mate? What's going Cowboys on? Cowboys as far as we are. Y'all know what it is. Cowboys all day. <laughs> uh, we not doing that today. <laughs> Y'all are, are our rivals, sir. I am a Washington, former Washington Redskins slash commanders. I hate that name so bad. Slash but we getting our quarterback on Thursday, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We getting our quarterback, so you slash, already know what time slash, it is. Slash garbage, slash <laughs> yeah, la la la, all that bull job. That's why we about to talk about the draft. What where dreams come alive, and when the season come, they go to die. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, the NFL draft preview. You already know. Got some big names coming out. Kayla Williams is pretty much a lot. For the uh, Chicago Bears, and I'm still I'm, in my mind. We are a lot for Jaden Daniels, and I'm praying to God because I swear to God, if it's Drake May, just know I'm tearing up my house. <laughs> but we gonna see what's gonna happen on that, man. I just want to know, man. I'm starting with y'all. Oh shit! I about to say I'm just trying to see uh, who you guys sleeper picks. For the draft, matter of fact, I ain't even start right there. Who you want for your team to draft? I will start with uh, OT. Man, I don't. We just need a solid running back. I don't even care who it is. At this, we need a running back. We damn need a linebacker now because my boy Mike. Mike talk about he on his on his last leg at this point. He don't know how how he want to do, but it's just how Jerry run that organization, man. Jerry ain't trying to. He ain't trying to win no ship right now. Jerry is a businessman. As long as the money flowing in, Jerry gonna do what he do. You got hosting high school championship games. You hosting wrestling events. You hosting cotton bowls and all type of college ball games. Like that's where the bread at. Concerts. Jerry ain't got, 
you know what I'm saying, ain't, ain't got no real push to try to win some right now. He said he all made it, but like, <clears throat> no moves this offseason. All the big names that was out there. Bro didn't even call uh, Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry was just get a call. Like, no nothing. So, at this point, man, it just is what it is. I might have this season off as defensive coordinator, virtual. <laughs> you know, we did. Work. But yeah, I, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't have no, I don't just have no solid pick in this draft because I know we don't need a quarterback, but we do after this season because that's probably gone. But um, I, I think this year kind of is going to be like a rebuilding year, damn near. We're going to be status quo. I already see it. Nine and seven, seven and nine, something like that. Like it ain't going to be going to be much. Ten damn, you, you going that far? Man, we're going to be okay. mediocre, dog. We're going to be mediocre. What what do you, what are you thinking? Do you think you, you think you need a cowbell back, or y'all want to do it by committee this year? What do you think is best for you? Either team? one will work. I mean, we got a solid mm-hmm. line. It's just you know having somebody like Pollard back there. Pollard can't do it by himself. He's too small. But I think if we had a Derrick Henry, we got enough backup for somebody to just come in, just do something like. But we need yeah, either a big, either a big back or go get Zeke again. Zeke gets you those five six that you need. Those tough that yards that, that he couldn't get last year, you know what I'm saying? So you saw the difference with just Tony doing it by himself versus when he went with Zeke. I mean, it was, it was evident. So either a combination of the two, like to the lightning and thunder, or just a big bruiser, one of the two. I'm still that surprised. Running from, that running back from Louisville may be a good pickup. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I was um, – very, very surprised that y'all ain't even called Derrick Henry because it was pretty much a lot. Thank God it didn't happen. That made me sick. That yeah. made me sick didn't make me sick. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm right. saying. Didn't <laughs> oh, yeah, because he went to your team, went to the Ravens. I went to the Ravens, you're right. Appreciate you. But, but, but to be honest, man, uh, the Cowboys aren't going to be Super Bowl contenders until Jerry Jones leave, to be honest. Yeah. That's, that's true. Yeah. So you saying he ain't gonna sell the team? So you pretty much saying Stephen Jones got to uh, take over? Right. Somebody, somebody other than Jerry Jones, because yeah. Jerry Jones is ruining that organization. That's a strong what, word, Doc. I well, I wouldn't say ruin. No, ruin. I know, I, know, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Though. Well, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. He, has, he built it. They definitely had some successful they, years under they him. They might you know, be one of the most successful teams in the league, bro. Like profitable wise, yeah. yeah. I mean, but even consistency, bro. They're in the playoffs every year. Like you don't really get that. They they're in the mix for a Super Bowl every year. They're like the conversation is in their mind. I mean, it's not stupid. <laughs> but like, you, you, I'm not the first round and win. But, but yeah, look, I mean, we we say the same thing about the Steelers every year. They go to the, they go to the playoffs every year. Yeah, they got it. That's yeah. that's a good world organization. Right. Trade that with like the Cardinals. The Cardinals would love to be in the Cowboys situation. Would yeah. love to be. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Okay. All I'm saying is all they're, not gonna be, them, they're not going to be Super Bowl <laughs> in the Super Bowl. Until he matter, matter of fact, you, you tell me what your team. Sure. You tell me what your team sure. need then. You tell me what your I, team. I already, I told you what my team needs, man. We need a wide receiver, man. We need Marvin, <laughs> Marvin Harrison Jr. to come to the coach to honor his father. Oh, it's not his father. Yeah, that, back, y'all, that's uh, it. We got the more receiver. Uh, we got uh, Michael Pittman. 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 Yeah, Pittman. Yeah, yeah, Pittman. He, he needs some help, bro. Yeah, y'all Pittman. are not about to get more. <laughs> he's Pittman not making no really a true one. He's not no true one. Why receive one? He's like a two to me, a two or a three. We need a we we need a wide receiver one. We need somebody who's gonna be that dog. It's a bunch of them in this draft. And you but, ain't gonna get you ain't getting you ain't getting that one. Yeah. I was uh, about to got, say he got the 15 he picks. actually on my list of players that y'all got the 15 pick, bro. He ain't nowhere near why not, man. Out. Unless y'all y'all gonna have to give up a king's ref. Nah, I think we're gonna get that that cornerback, either the cornerback from Alabama or the cornerback from Toledo. Uh, yeah. No, because I, I forgot the cornerback from uh Toledo, but anytime I see like uh Mel Kiper and them talk about players like that, like I just love to go watch him, dog. But he seemed like he five. Well, t- no, matter of fact, Jason, since you said something, 
<laughs> about them Ravens, man? Who? Well, I really want us to get Keon Coleman if we can get him in the second round. That's that's who I want. It's it's a possibility. Y'all yeah. can get him for real. I mean, he'll be there. In the, he'll be drafted in the second round. But you know, we have a late second round pick, so maybe yeah. we can package together one of these compensatory picks with another pick. We may be able to move up and grab him. But like Zay Flowers needs some help. We don't know what we're gonna do with Bateman. Outside of that, there are, who's the, who's the third receiver? You know, Tyler Washington. Whoever that is, yeah, that's exactly. Like, so we need some help. So we need we need Keon Coleman. I think he he has the prototypical size. He's been very productive in college, you know. So we we just need to get some help out there for my boy, man. <laughs> they don't want to see Lamar succeed. Don't want to see my boy you, thrive, man. Yeah, who you got, yeah. man? Yeah, man. We we don't need nothing. <laughs> Man, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do that right now. Nah, Who your team? Uh, Niners. Nah, yeah. Everybody, everybody's in the right there. You need somebody. You need somebody. Y'all probably, they was talking nah. about y'all probably trade IU. Yeah, y'all trade IU. Yeah, right? yeah, I don't know, man. I'm looking at it. Like, uh, I thought we would get the replacement for Trent Williams coming up in this draft, but I don't think we got a high enough pick, really, to, to get mm. a offensive lineman that's you know we talk about generational talent but yeah. uh so with our first pick 31st i say that go cornerback but if kool-aid mckinsey is still on the board i take him at 31. uh we need some secondary help other than that man we do a good job of packaging our compensatory picks together and moving up in the draft and, and expect some creative from john lynch he 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 hadn't let me down yet. Our, our drafts are always uh, pretty entertaining. You said with Trey Lance. Right. Yeah. Trey Lance. I mean, yeah, that, that's because he didn't pan out. But at the time, that was an yep. amazing draft where they pulled that off. Man, y'all had Justin Fields yeah. sitting right there, bro. Y'all drafted me. That's, that's true. So I can't give you too much credit. That's I true. think Kool-Aid is a steal. At least we ain't end up you with Wilson. At 31, I yeah, Kool Aid will be a steal at 31. I think my team yeah, drafts Kool Aid. I think my team drafts Kool Aid. I think Packers drafts Kool Aid. I don't know. What, yeah. what should I pick? I don't know, but I know it's higher than 31. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know it's higher than that. And uh, Kool Aid ain't going to get past us. He said, dog, yeah, 25. 25. Mm-hmm. I think we get Kool Aid. If we don't get Kool Aid, maybe. Uh, yeah, I think we get him. Because we need some help back there with Jair Alexander. So if we don't get Kool Aid, we may be able to get a Cooper DeJean, Iowa. He's a yeah, brother. Brother. You are not convinced me, bro. I, I I just gotta see Buddy play, man. I, I know like he play. He, he fought for Iowa, bro. I just gotta see Buddy play for uh, like, bro. I, I'm thinking of uh, with my boy Jason Seahorn, last white <laughs> cornerback, bro. I'm like, bro, I just, white cornerbacks. <laughs> nah, Cooper just don't. Dog. I know he a dog, bro, but I just got to see it, dog. I just got to see it. I think he's going to be straight. He's going to pan well. Man, shh. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to be like, he's black, you're white. Now, he got to make me <laughs> He got to make me think otherwise, dog. I just can't see it. Well, of course, you already know who I want in the draft because we are up there. Caleb Bank, he can't come home because the damn Bears got the number one pick. But the guy I wanted. Even though they haven't drafted my head, they haven't made my head coach the head coach. They haven't they haven't done nothing this offseason that I wanted them to do. Please get Jaden Daniels. Please. They're not gonna do it. And who's the head coach? Y'all gonna get Drake Mays, man. Yep, that was we, go we got uh, we got uh Dan Quinn. Oh, oh okay. y'all, y'all hey, you know I want an Airbnb Robert. enemy, bro. I want an Airbnb enemy Robert. to be the head coach. It's all right, well, I know the defense gonna be straight. Though. Yeah, yeah. That one thing true. I know for sure they're gonna be straight. We just got to get the cornerbacks. We got old boy out of Mississippi State last year, but he was getting cooked, boy. <laughs> Jay Brown was cooking. <laughs> 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 to be fair, he cooked everybody. <laughs> Say it again, OT. I said, if y'all get Jaden Daniels, that boy gonna be done in three, four years. Y'all gonna miss that man. Career. Man, please, man. Y'all, y'all keep thinking in the past of RG three. RG three messed itself up. 
Cardi. He messed mess himself up, up, man. It don't matter. Y'all gonna get y'all, hey, Historically, way. y'all really don't have a good history when it comes to QBs. Hardly. Shit. I don't know where scared quarterback. Doug Williams. Mark Boy, that was. <laughs> 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 that's what I'm saying. I ain't want to go back too far because they'll be going far and far. <laughs> about to say Joe Thighs, man. <laughs> Everybody I have never seen play in, like, true. I'm born in 91. I'm about to say that was our last uh, championship, man. Didn't get yeah. to see that. <laughs> but, true, man. It, hey, it's a possibility, dog. <laughs> um. <laughs> It's a possibility, dog, that these niggas gonna fuck it up, man. I I can just see them doing it, bro. Cause they did it. They, they I forgot oh. that draft. Uh, well, usually when they draft offensive linemen, we good. But this is the quarterback draft. But they may be stupid enough to trade it away, but we'll see. Well, we wish y'all sleeper picks for the draft. Somebody that everybody not paying close eye to. You think gonna be a stud or be a good player in the league or a diamond in the rough? Well, that's easy. Chris Braswell. Roll tight. You already know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's easy. St. Francis Academy, professional program, Alabama professional program. He's gonna come in ready to go. Day one. Yeah. He's been hurt a couple of times, but and I think that's kind of what's holding him back. But you know, like he still had a good year last year, almost 10 sacks. Super quick get off on the ball. He's gonna be a steal. He's gonna go in the second or third round. Tez, you go. Oh no, my fault, Quinn. Go. Oh no, go ahead. Go, Tez. And don't oh, name no man. Auburn players. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All of them gonna ball out. I ain't man, even please, man. boy, I ain't had an Auburn all, player to all ball two. out since Cam Newton, man. All two of them. <laughs> all, two <laughs> of them. all two of them gonna ball out. Uh, but nah, that, actually, they may they may actually show up though for real because we had pretty good success with secondary players in the NFL. Uh, but I, the one player I'm looking at honestly is I think JJ McCarty is better than people giving him credit for. Absolutely. I, I think I think he gonna fall to a team where he ain't gonna have to do much, and he gonna put up numbers that he probably that any other quarterback probably it's gonna it's gonna look a lot. I ain't gonna say like C.J. Stroud because I think C.J. Stroud a better quarterback than him, but I, I can see him falling to a team that's got everything already in place except a QB. Yeah, man, they need a wellness check. Like Seattle or something. And, I mean, if he fell to Seattle, that would, that would that would be well. We just traded um, uh, Sam Howell to them, so I doubt yeah. they're trying to. Yeah, yeah. It may be the Broncos. They keep maybe Minnesota because they keep hollering about a quarterback. But y'all didn't believe in Sam Howell. I know. I, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, bro, I, I he, was he, was breaking, he was breaking records and shit. Yeah, I thought, I thought he was gonna be legit. Oh, man, yeah. that that's because we had Airbnb <laughs> enemy, bro. Look what Airbnb enemy did with Patrick Mahomes, dog. And this was this this was considered a down year for Patrick Mahomes because he wasn't there. Mm-hmm. And now, Sam, if you see what he did with Sam yeah. Howell. Just imagine what he'll do with uh, Jay Daniels. That boy. I'm gonna tell you one thing. That boy was in my fantasy. That was a light sleeper pick. <laughs> <laughs> that boy put up some numbers. He's the go. Give you, you know what I'm saying, 60, or he gonna turn the ball over. You yeah. <laughs> man, I forgot that one game. No, it was the end of the year, boy. When we played, matter of fact, when we played y'all, boy, that that nigga was just garbage. Boy. I don't know what he was doing, man. I was, but I wanted us to lose. I was like, hey, bro, we ain't going nowhere. I don't even care if the Cowboy beat us. I just want to lock this number two pick. Cause I was like, bro, don't be stupid and try to win this game. Now we move down to three. And then we ain't got no choice but to draft Drake May now. <laughs> Who you got, Quinn? Uh, to be honest, a sleeper wide receiver for me is Brian Thomas Jr. Oh, LSU. LSU, man. I, I think I think folks don't really give him credit. I mean, I know he had like what, 1,600, 1,700 yards. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, because so, because he, yeah, he was so, with Malik neighbors. Yeah, so but know. I know. No, no, mock, I'm just saying they don't give him that credit. I'm with. Yeah, you. but in the mock draft, they said you know he'll be most likely selected to the Chargers, and if he goes to the Chargers with Justin Herbert under Harbaugh's leadership, it might be dangerous. They they need him. Well, they just traded Keenan Allen. All right. Mm-hmm. So. So, yeah, they do need to receive him. Well, you know, they got uh well the Chargers already got uh well from what I'm looking at from uh PFF, they saying uh Malik Neighbors is projected to go to them. Oh, really? At five. Okay. At five. Yeah. That'd be a that'd be a little sneaky pick. All right. Hey, if they get neighbors and Brian, it's all with it. They're gonna have to trade up into the first round. They got go the fifth, they got the fifth pick and the twenty-third pick, I thought. Mm-mm. Unless I'm looking at something else. But nah, they ain't got it. Um, unless I'm tripping, unless they this is one with uh teams traded, but yeah, I don't really see it on here. Oh, nah, okay. Who you got, OT? I can see us picking up with uh, Smith from Georgia, the safety. Oh, yeah. mm. I, don't, I don't know how far he would drive down, but he like kind of – I think he played a little bit linebacker too, safety and linebacker. So I know we like to run packages, you know, like the dual-type packages. We run nickel a lot. So I think that would be dope to have somebody like that, and especially with us losing uh, – what's his name? So I don't know, man. We, we gonna, like, I, like I said, man, we're going to be – it's. It's gonna be a shaky year. I don't. I don't know how good we gonna. Do. I don't have the confidence I usually have going into the season. On that paper, but when everything come together and we lost the Dan Quinn, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. That that's what I'm trying to figure. That's what I'm trying to figure out why you feel like y'all gonna be so shaky. Y'all not losing nobody. Y'all ain't losing nobody. For real, yeah, we got uh, uh, our cornerback uh, Gilmore. Gilmore mm-hmm. gone. Yeah. Yeah, but y'all still getting um uh, y'all still got uh my boy Diggs. Diggs. Yeah, he coming back off ACL. That's that's gonna yeah, be But yeah. well, one thing about the Cowboys, they always have the talent. Always have the talent. That's what I'm saying. On paper, we'd be nice. It just putting it yeah. together. That's what mess up. Yeah, because y'all spend the money. <laughs> oh yeah, they they yeah. spend that money. They better pay uh well they gonna pay him, but uh C D Lamb. Oh yeah, CD get paid. Oh, yeah. 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 CD gonna get paid, man. Because yeah, I, yeah. I don't know what's mm-hmm. taking Jerry so long, man. Because I like, ah, dog, you ain't pay him yet. Because because they find receivers, dog. Cowboys good for a receiver. They yeah. good for a receiver. This is true. I, well, I, I think uh, they good for receivers, but they also good for letting go of good receivers too. Yep. Right. They, 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 they heavy draft. They yeah. they they were yeah. they replace him, bro. They they do a good job replacing. Like yeah, this, this ain't this ain't the time this like, year. You ain't got the time. I was wondering why you not. You know, everybody's wondering why you not paying the other guy. What was the other guy's name? They let go. Really good. Amari Cooper. Running. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Everybody's wondering why you ain't paying Amari. Man. Like, All right. So. Well, because they I had think, CD, and I think he they thought CD was going to emerge, which he did. Yeah. You got a force. And Amari Cooper did too. With the Browns, he was balling. They, they can create another a Cowboy show. They can create another hole, bro. They create Man, receivers. I, I, they I, don't, receivers. I don't see that one, bro. They they got to keep their number one. If Jared, as serious as he say he is, like we're going all in, you got to keep CD. They should have yeah. called Derrick Henry, what, but what that's pick? Over. I think uh, a, a, a sleeper pick. I got to mention it earlier. Y'all at twenty four. Oh, twenty four. The more, the more and more I think about it, I think uh, Isaac Rendo, that's how you say his last name, from uh, Louisville, would be a good pick for the Cowboys as a running back. Uh, um, he's about six one, six two, runs a four three, uh, three down, three down back. Um, big ass running man. <laughs> yeah, running yeah, he, he, has, he has he has a forty two inch vertical, bro. He, he's a he's an yeah, athlete, bro. He 
He's a, he's an athlete. He's an athlete, and I think he'll be good. I think he'll fall into day two, day three. I think he'll he'll slide he'll slide to the wide. I think that'll be a good pickup. For the guy. I, ain't, I ain't never even heard of Buddy, so you just put me. I know. On I know. Uh, yeah, if you get he had a I think uh, maybe about close to nine hundred rushing yards at Louisville, maybe eleven, twelve, thirteen touchdowns. And uh, you know Louisville. Who the fuck watches them games? Unless you at Louisville, you know what I mean. So, I think, but, I think the he, problem with the with the Cowboys he, is like, we, do they want to run the ball? Yeah. Like, what kind of That's team do they want to be? They do. They That's do. All they do. Do. He do. He do. He want to. He want to run, 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 play action. You know, but with us not having a run game, we had to switch it up last year. Yeah. But that's personnel decisions, though. Like, they make all the decisions. Like, they don't want to run the yeah. ball. Yeah. Or CD. <laughs> like, really, that, you know, that was a game which plan. Is, which is why they're not going to pay CD. And which is why so. that's Boy, not going to pay it either. Boy, please. CD getting paid. I think CD getting paid. Yeah. They're going to they gonna take their time with it, but he's going to get paid. If I want to run the ball, if I want to run the ball, why am I maxing out my receiver? If they let CD Lamb go, they're going to regret it. Like, yeah, yeah. he, he going to. They probably. I, only thing I do know, they better uh, sign him before uh, just Jefferson gets signed. Then he gonna want more money. Exactly. Yep. So you might well go ahead and get, get that out of the way now. That's how Dak ended up getting his ass. Is he on the same caliber as uh, Justin Jefferson? It no. don't matter, dog. It don't matter. No. That's how wherever the market is set, that's where the players gonna matter. go. They That's where the market going. I, I think it does matter because it's gonna matter. Yeah, it, it don't. don't matter, That's, we, we, hey, that's what we talked about when we was talking Johnson. about uh, we was talking about Kirk Cousins. That's how he got all that money. Yep. You think Kirk it's Cousins on the caliber of these boys? It's about when you get paid. Not, yep. But, but, on, I'm but if I'm if I'm Kirk Cousins' agent though, so if we're looking at stats, Kirk Cousins been top five the last five years on the yes, score, exactly. so, yes, and nobody sure. really talk about him. So that's what I'm saying. CD Lamb's gonna be able to say the same thing. If if, mm-hmm. Jeff, if Justin Jefferson signed before him, CD Lamb's gonna be able to say, "Hey, look at my numbers over the past five years." Yeah, but he can't make an argument that he's better than Justin Jefferson. No, it, 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 it ain't about being better. better. It ain't about being better. better. Right. Yeah. Well, I want to be the top guy. Right so, do you think either one of them get more money than T- than Tyreek Hill is making right now? No. Yes. What Tyreek? Yes. No. no. I don't think so. It's definitely going. Neither one of them. I, I think, think so. How, how much you getting paid right now? How much you getting paid? Say it again, old team. My fault. No, go ahead. I don't think either one of them get that kind of money from the team that they own. Exactly. No, I'm I saying, think, where's a Tyreek Hill contract team. right now? He's he gonna have thirty. He get thirty next year. No, I'm talking Ooh. about like what is the overall one? Like one twenty. Uh, hell yeah, they definitely uh, about to get paid, especially uh, Justin Jefferson. Why would I tell you? He'll be close yeah, to us. Close when, when did Tyreek sign that? Was that before last year? Yeah, yeah, last year. Yeah, that was before the TV money. And so. shout out to him on my fantasy team. Nah, I think before the cap. They ain't gonna deserve it. CD might get like 30, 32, 31, 32, just to be a little bit above. I must I say they get probably 28, 29. For the Cowboys to pay CD, either they have to make that a long-term contract, like stretch it out over the course of multiple years, or they gonna, they gonna let him go. I think the last receiver that reset the market was like Christian Kirk. You remember that when he signed for all that money? And then oh, they man. messed up the D-Hop deal because D-Hop started asking for more money after that. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you know I'm saying it, it, the receiver don't gotta be that's what I'm yeah, saying. It ain't on about be a time and the but team. Cowboys never, the Cowboys play. never do that. Cowboys never do that. Now they probably okay. In what they world never. you let me? Know. You gonna see it this year? Uh, you're not gonna okay. see it. Not from the Cowboys, bro. Okay, no, I'll put do it, it like this. One thing. I, okay, I'll I put it like you're this. You talking about a team who held not. back from paying that? Who held back from paying? And what did they do at the end of the day? Hell yeah, at cool. the end of the day, but they waited. Now what, it don't what, matter. Long as you got the money, like, I don't care how long you wait. I don't want to wait this long. Okay, how about this? Over, over, or under one thirty. Under. Nah, it'll under, be over under, under. I'm going over. No, it'll under. be. It'll I don't be even over think he's there. If, if I would it like it, it'll be over. It'll be over if Justin Jefferson signs first. Under. 
Cause so everybody you know say, oh, no, I'm going with the over. No, I'm going with the over. Because, it's going to be I mean, so many years, though. Yeah, it's going to be the years. Yeah, I don't care about the years. I'm just talking about how much it's going to be. Because a lot of that money he probably won't ever see. Well, because Tyree got, what, three three years? Probably I got like four got or five. Like four, one, twin. Four years. But, like, Devontae Adams got, like, five or six for 140. Oh, yeah. I got, um. Uh, now they do that, they gonna give them five five years. Five. That's what I'm five saying. It don't. I don't care about it. As long as he get the money, he gonna get the yeah, first. Yeah, but two. and it's gonna be like gonna eighty, paid, and it's gonna be like eighty or ninety guaranteed. Hell no. Nah. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, we yeah, gonna see when it happens. Have that, but bro. you gotta tell. Like, like, why would they? I don't know if the power. Why would they? Why would they do that? Like, why? Yeah, before they pay their quarterback, why would they do that? They already they paid find... their quarterback, <laughs> bruh. Before they before they finalize things, with it, they finalize everything with that. Yeah, they did that two years ago, either two or a year ago. Nah, bro, that's money coming up soon. Soon, like no, it's th- it was either this year or next year. It's coming up. It had to just have. I think it's next. That's year, what I'm bro. saying, bro. They literally just signed that. To... They're not paying like last CD. year or the year before yeah, last. It's, it's next year. It's next year. They're not paying CD for their pay debt. Okay, why would I tell you? Honestly, we already got over in the This under. Dallas, though, bro. Like, they they don't, don't, exactly. It, it's the money we even really talk about that. Like, it's a matter if they want the player or not. Do they exactly. want to do it or not? They, they, want them. they have unlimited yeah. budget. <laughs> like, yeah, but, but, they, they, they got, but there's a cap. But there's, there's a cap, though. There's a salary cap. Like, you can't. Yeah. It's not an unlimited cap. So no, they got same same parameters. And you still got to pay back if, yeah. if you yeah. want to sleep. So Bleacher yeah, Report has projected contracts for, for Justin Jefferson, CeeDee Lamb, and Jamar Chase. Mm. Yeah. And they have Justin Jefferson at four years, $117 million, mm. which is 29 a year. Mm. That's in Minnesota? Okay. That's that CeeDee Lamb, weird. 115 Mm-hmm. For four years at 28 and Jamar Chase at 104 26. I forgot about Jamar Chase too. Yeah. Okay, right. yeah, now, now y'all got me thinking about the under now. I had to think about this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I forgot how much money that is. I like, yeah, it's damn. hard to get to that 30, man. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's gonna. I'm I, telling I, you, it's, it's, it's gonna be matter of fact. No, I'm going with it. I'm going with it. I'm still going with the uh, over. Like, it, it all depends cap, but it's a cap. if Justin Jefferson yeah. get paid first. Which I highly even, doubt he probably even won't. Even if won't. Justin Jefferson get paid first, it's not going to That's what I'm <laughs> <that's laughs> <bro. Okay. laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's usually just a team reaching for a receiver that's stupid that reset the market. Yeah, right. Like, it's yeah. never like the player that you think Minnesota going to reset, reset their market. market. Yeah. I'm telling you, dog, the they don't market. have nobody to yeah, sign. They already got rid the of Cowboys don't make stupid big signings. That's a they dumb don't. They got a lot of work. They signed, bro, they signed that. Not that they signed Dak and they got and they signed Bruh, Zeke, but that makes more sense to sign. Like win or lose, Dak gets his team in the playoffs, bro. Like yeah. something has to be said about that, bro. Man, yeah, I'm, I'm not about taking, bro. I'm not taking ten quarterbacks over. Bro, you I'm could not do a lot worse than quarterbacks than that. Than yeah, 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 I'm not taking ten quarterbacks. A lot worse, bro. If this if is Dak a cowboy, the they ain't thinking Dak about oh, we just team. getting to the playoffs. They want to win it all. At least get them to a conference championship. They, they're not yeah. going to win it all. I mean, I get it. Oh, if, if I'm I'm saying this on the record, I don't give a damn about the Cowboys. I hope they fail every year. I hope they lose. I hope we beat Me the too. ass every year. I can't oh, stand the Cowboys. <laughs> Me too. Uh, I knew we had that in common. Uh, <laughs> Me too. <laughs> they, they have so many rivals and. They rivals with your 49ers. They rival with That's my it. team. That's why I say it's just Alpha, man. It's I just, just don't Alpha. like them. The most delusional. Y'all know y'all really love them. They like the colors. They like the stadium. Like, oh, just they like all that. Y'all like the glitz and glam. We know. We know. Matter of fact, no, no, not really. Matter of fact, the last okay. time I liked them was ja- Jason was Brother. Smith. Jason That's Brother, the last time I my liked big them. cousin, his older brother played for the Cowboys, Frank. I, that was the only time I didn't cheer for Frank in my life, dog. <laughs> Me too. I was so pissed off. <laughs> I'm like, bro, the nigga ain't played for none of the teams I wanted. The man got drafted by the Giants. I was like, mm-hmm. bro, okay, it, it, it's cool. And then when Frank went to the Ravens, 
Yeah, yep. went to the Ravens, yep. and, and then yep. he went to Minnesota, and then he went to Dallas. Yeah, I'm like, bro, no. Green Bay. Too. <laughs> yeah, he went to Green, yeah, Bay. Did I say Green, Green Bay? Bay. Yeah, and bro, the one thing before we uh move on, bro, the one thing that always used to kill me every time, I think Frank got drafted in 23. I mean, not 23. Uh, 03. Yeah. 03. 03. Bro. Every time Frank left the team, the team won the Super Bowl the, the next, next year, year, which I yep. can't get over. Bro. My dog uh-huh. folks at least have at least two Super Bowl rings with the uh, Giants and the um, Ravens. Yep. Still can't get over that. No, no, no. It was the Packers. The Packers won the next year. Yeah, because they made it to the NFC Championship or something like that. Yeah, because they lost to the, uh, the Giants. Trash-ass mm. niggas. Oh, <laughs> I can't. All right. Oh yeah, I ain't even uh give who is my uh underrated Lad McCon. Mm, I ain't gonna pick. I ain't gonna lie to you, mm, bro. Oh <laughs> Lad, Lad McConkey at Georgia. I was like, okay, Lad is straight. And then when I started seeing more and more, I was like, bro, this little white boy be getting up out of there, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. He was like everything to Georgia. Though. I was like, bro, this dude is like sneaky fast. And I'm telling you, if Oh, uh, if he fall down to 32, I would not be surprised if the Chiefs draft him. Right. And I'd be like, yeah, just give Pat Mahomes more weapons. Thanks. Right. I'm, I'm hoping that somebody draft him early. Well, probably like mid-first round, late first round, or just somewhere in the second round. I'm just praying to God, if he make it that far, that they don't draft. If they but, do, they 3 I don't think he fall that far, bro. I hope not. <laughs> Cause when they did the senior bowl, bro, if you seen them senior bowl highlights, I was like, bro, man, nobody can elite. stock him, bro. <laughs> like yeah. nobody. He's elite at creating separation. Yeah. I was like, my goodness, dog. And he's he doesn't he even look passes, like he's he, and, he and he don't drop passes. passes. He don't. He did. He showed out at the senior bowl, and he showed out at the combine. I was like, bro, this dude is true for yeah, it. I, I, but. We already know who Georgia lost to in the SEC championship game. Roll, Roll time. time. So it don't even matter. Matter of fact, I ain't even as you did, OT. You uh big well, you told me you're not a uh big on college football like that. But you got a uh college football team. No, nah, not really. I mean, normally I just root for Texas schools. Yeah, okay. Mainly I like UT because you know I grew up. From, uh, in Port Arthur, and that's where Jamal Charles went. You know, UT. So that, that's been my dog. I got to see him. I got to see it live in action on the sidelines, like seeing how how cold he was on the field. So it's always like Texas, um, but also like I be like an underdog too a lot, especially like championship games. I love just going for the underdog. Like when uh, Boise State went against o- OU, I love AP. You know, he from yeah. out here too, but. It was just Boise State was just that up and coming team making noise, doing different stuff, creative offenses and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's what I was really watching football. It's just been kind oh, of, oh, yeah, like, I ain't watch that much. What's up, man? Oh, yeah, I forgot y'all. I forgot y'all boys off from uh PA. Oh, I got a uh, some at the end for y'all before well, for you. Just let me see uh, your knowledge or something. We we All gonna right. get there. All right. Last one for the uh, NFL draft. Who is y'all most overrated <coughs> person in the draft? <laughs> <laughs> just anybody you think that is just, just like they just overhyping. Like I don't know who this guy. Like I don't even know why they even hyping this guy. Up. And to me, for me, I would definitely say. Uh, I want to say JJ, but I like JJ too. But the way they hyping him up, top five, I'm like nah, like top five, top ten. I don't think he top ten. Yeah. I don't think he top ten worthy, dog. Yeah. Like I ain't see enough at Michigan to just make me be like this guy's top five. Nah, I don't know. Man. He just he proved that he can operate a team. Now, Quint, they saying they going. Around. Now they saying he going to the Broncos. Now I remember somebody saying something like that. Nah, he ain't going to the Broncos. Broncos ain't got enough for him to be. Successful. Yeah, they ain't, nah. 
they losing out a hell of money. <laughs> you just gotta get my boy Pat Sertan out of there, bro. I, I I just can't deal they, with it, bro. Yeah, they need to get. Well, I don't know. This is gonna be a rebuilding year for them, for real, for real. But who do you think overrated then? Because that's that's mine. I just I just don't. I only think he overrated because they trying to make him top five or top ten. I don't think he's top ten. I think he is, but. My uh, overrated Drake, Drake May, <laughs> Drake May. That, Matter of fact, who, yeah, that's who overrated to me. But he feel like right, they got him going. Well, I, I'm gonna keep saying yes. He's going to New England because I want Jay Dane. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying that until Thursday night. Best believe when it gets to the number number two pit, bro. If if I come to y'all mind, just know I am nervous like crazy. <laughs> you know what's gonna happen. If I see the camera on on Drake May too much, I already I'm like, bro, I'm gonna walk outside and be pissed <laughs> off. But uh he look they got him going to the New England Patriots, but I don't know, bro. That just seemed like a fit for him. So football Shoot. guys make it happen. The My boys got, uh, boys got Michael Penix is overrated. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. No. That's who you got as overrated? No, nah, I'm just I was just looking at a little article. One little article got him as overrated. Oh man, please. I, I, <laughs> like, man, please. I don't, nah, I don't see him as a man. Oh, I'm about to say I, I can see it. Never no, man, stop it, man. Stop Why it. you can see it, man. Stop it. Yeah, I mean, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Sometimes with the routine throws, he was sailing on. I can I can kind of see it. Yeah, stop it, man. I'm just saying that's not my pick, but I can see. Who, who, what is your pick? Like offense with him? Oh, you want him? I No, what you say? Oz, go ahead. My fault. Oh, you, you think it was more of the offense, Jason, or nope? Just it's just him just overthrowing a little bit. Yeah. So even like, you know, it's like even in the championship game, he just looked tight, and that that kind of happens to him periodically. That's because of that defense. That, thank you, man. That, wasn't no, bro, that man ain't have no time to throw the ball, defense, man. Hey, that defense was pressing through, bro, just like they pressed yeah. through with Alabama. They was pressing through, whoa, man. Whoa, 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 Slow defense down. Defense I'm, I'm, I'm a roll with Todd fan, but I'm just saying that they did. Defense they did. is faster than the NFL. They have infighting. <laughs> man, man, whoever won that game was going to win that. Facts is facts, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. That was our yeah. look. For Nick Saban, man. Yeah. What's your team? I don't know, man. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, I think it's Caleb, bro. Me too. I'm with you, Ted. I, I think I'm, I'm not that. I think he's he not, not that. Not that I don't think he's talented. I just don't. I don't think he's the best quarterback in the draft. I don't either. I just see that. I don't. <laughs> who, who do you? Who are you thinking? He is, I think Jay Davis is the best quarterback in the draft. For sure. Yeah. I, don't think Caleb, I don't think Caleb is the best quarterback in the Future draft. Future Super Bowl winning quarterback, Jay Davis, on the Washington if Commanders. I, if, if the Bears, <laughs> if the Bears, not going to the Commanders, man. I'll put it to you like to this. So if 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 the if the uh, Bears pick Caleb Williams, which everybody thinks they're going to do, it's already locked pretty much. Yeah, that's done. And I think that. For the commanders to pick Jane Daniels is a no-brainer. I think he's a no-brainer uh, at that pick. They if you reverse him. that, if you give the Bears, if if the Bears pick Jane Daniels first, and I'm the commander sitting that second, I, I kind of think about that Kayla Williams pick and start exploring some other options like trading out of that pick or something. Like I don't, I don't know if he. I, I'm just saying, man, it <laughs> it's got to be one of them. It, it ain't about that. I don't. It, it, I don't. Every I, class. It's, it's always like this. It's always Man. one of them. And I, I think that one is, is, is well the lack the lack of pressures that Kayla Williams faced in his division. You know, he just had so much time to throw the ball, bro. And they're just comparing him to, to freaking Joe Burrow and the next Patrick Mahomes. It, 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 that's that's too far. Where I, you think, I think where you think Patrick Mahomes came from? Yeah, that's cool and all, bro. But still, it <laughs> he he not that, bro. I doubt it. I I would go Jaden Daniels. I might even go Michael Penix to be honest over Caleb Williams. Michael Penix has showed me more 
his last year in college than Caleb showed me for sure. Yeah. Um, so I'm I'm going with that. I really think the Bears, if they do take Caleb, I think they fucked it up. They should have kept Justin Fields. If you want to so. keep it a thousand. I agree. Keep it a thousand. Yeah. Justin so. Fields did a lot with nobody. He did a yeah, lot with nobody. And now they want to do something. So yeah. I, nobody. I, if if he had any of that, yeah. Oh my God. And then is he was Caleb, hurt last year. Is Caleb uh, better than Justin Fields? Is a, is y'all not a, y'all not the gonna rookie Caleb Williams better than Justin Fields. A NFL no. quarterback Justin Fields. Y'all, y'all cannot think Caleb Williams is better. He, he's a better passer. He's a better passer. passer. But yeah. how you how you even how you even figure that? Like Caleb Caleb hasn't seen when Caleb got pressured, he didn't look that fire to me. Man, that was in college. That, that man, man is super accurate, though. That man is super accurate. I mean, I'm, I, I don't. I don't. I'm not knocking his talent, and I'm not saying he's not talented. I just don't think he's the best quarterback in the draft. I don't that's either. All. Yeah, that's true. That's I don't it. think he's. I, mean, I don't think he's. Well, well, he's better he's just, that, that's cool. I'm only saying he's not the best because because <laughs> you want the opinion. And no, because my quarterback at two is the best Super Bowl winning quarterback. Drake Drake is not the best. Future hey, Hall Drake, of Fame. Drake May is not the best. Drake May is not the best. Man, best. <laughs> man whatever. Man, we about to move on, man. Hey, can I I'm get mine? Oh, I thought you gave your my fault. No, sir. No, sir. The most overrated player for me right now is Terry Arnold. Cap. Uh, nope. Oh, that was left. He ain't the best Cap. cornerback on the same team as him. Hmm. He had twice as many targets as Kool-Aid. He had almost three, he, he allowed almost three times as many yards and receptions as Kool-Aid. And he's super grabby. He's gonna get a lot of PIs in the NFL. Man, you can fix that, man. No, you can't. <laughs> you can fix that. <laughs> you, uh-huh. <laughs> you can't. You can't fix man. grabbing. I'm I'm not about to let you disrespect Terry on roll tide no, all the way. I'm not saying through. that he's not gonna be good. I'm just saying he's He's not the first cornerback that should be taken in the draft. Okay. No, I just don't I, like most over it. He would be a great yeah. safety. Would you draft? Would you draft Kool Aid over him? Yep, in a heartbeat. I would too. It's just that in foot injury with Kool Aid. That's yeah. just the only thing. Really? Kool Aid, the best press corner, without sure. a doubt. It's not even close. I think Kool Aid Kool Aid had less than forty targets this season. There's a reason for oh. that. Don't worry, the coach <laughs> gonna get Terry on. We'll, we'll, we'll treat him right. Terry on had like eighty. Up. He's gonna be straight. <laughs> well, y'all already know the good old NBA playoffs so man. far. <laughs> man, oh man! And I have a confession to make. Yeah. Some of you may know. Oh, uh, came home, cut some grass, and then I come back in the house, man, and I watch the Knicks. In the 76ers game, classic, great game all the way through. But the problem was when the Lakers and Nuggets played, the last thing I remember is Brun blocking uh, Jamal Murray shot, and I fell asleep. So I woke up <laughs> at 1, 1 30 this morning oh, on the couch, not realizing, like, oh, man, I'm about to get in the bed. Oh, shit. I need to get need to turn on the uh, highlight. So I stayed away from social media like I always do and turn on the highlights. I was like, man, it's only nine minutes. Like, okay, damn, the legs blowing them out. No wonder this uh thing you is nine minutes. Then I was like, wait a minute. He boy coming back on. Him. Okay. And then it was like a minute left on the highlight thing. I'm like, bro, this game closed. Did something happen? <laughs> and then the play I thought that ended it was Brun uh pushing off KCP. And he missed it. And I'm like, bro, it's like 30 more seconds on this thing, bro. What happened? And then Jamal Murray hits the game winning shot. Yeah, I go. Yeah. Oh my God, bro. I was like, dog, this is crazy. I can't believe I missed this game, bro. I know everybody was going crazy on social media with this one. Man, I don't know. So I've been <laughs> and, as, and, and as a I don't know. I know I'm a Lakers fan. I know Quint is a Lakers fan. Any more Lakers fan? No. Hold on. We got let another me, Lakers me, fan. Me, I'm a me. Lakers fan, but I, I do not like LeBron on my team. LeBron yeah, needs bro. to go. Damn, bro. That's what we, we yeah, on the, bro. The, the, the hate. 
We're on the opposite end. See, I'm Goat James. I'm King Goat James all day, <laughs> oh, every day. Yeah, we I'm we only, only, hey, 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 only a Lakers fan because of LeBron. That's it. LeBron brought me here, oh, bro. No. LeBron oh, no. brought me here. Thank you. Uh, you're not a true Lego fan if you're only a Lego fan. Not, because no, 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 no. I I'm still LeBron support James my fan. team, but I, no, sir, I don't know. LeBron, even, I, I the best thing that happened to y'all since Kobe <laughs> left, bro. Y'all ain't gonna do that. Y'all been in purgatory. No, for one thing, we ain't gonna do. No, he's the goat. He yeah, Billy go. Goat, and he ain't no go with I wish the go that would. I really wish LeBron would have gave a little more time. I know he wanted to win, but I wish he would have gave them youngers a little more time, bro. That could have been a nasty squad. And that and that's why I'm yeah. pissed off. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. that's every that's every yeah. style. Y'all got to yeah. we got y'all got a ring out of it though. Randall. We could have three. We, we, Randall Maybe. was on the team. Ball was on the team. Uh, Ingram was on the team. Only person that was still left from that was Cool. Oh, no, none of the guys have won nothing. None of the guys have won nothing. LeBron, the only one who won a ring since that trade. It was somebody as good it. as all them guys were. None of them have won nothing. That's because they right, know. Right. Right. Yeah. They if they were they would have been okay. Listen, you nah, had Mark and Kyle Kuzma ball. Oh, that sounds yeah, so good. Is, the only is. ones who won, the only ones who won was LeBron and Kuzma. That's it. Get yeah. them losers out of here. We y'all want to yeah. ring. Y'all got the ring from Braun. Man, the same Bones, thing y'all said with the Cowboys. And, and get what? Man, and get what? Ain't nobody in LA play. respect that ring. Nobody. That, yeah, because y'all don't. Because y'all, right. you know what? Because because y'all, y'all not real winners, bro. Y'all don't yeah. like winning. Yeah, yeah, like like what are you talking about? Tell you yeah, Let me ask you a question. Fans, the only thing that matters is the win, bro. Oh my Haters man. gonna hate yeah, on I knew he was gonna go down this road. I told <laughs> Kevin on the way Hey, this always happens with LeBron. If any other team would have won that bubbles game. Well, we'll be having the same conversation about if it was no. real. Or not. Right. No, but, so, so that bubble but, no, you saying all we have I, I, nobody respects that ring, bro. Because, well, because they lost. Team That's team what losers team. do. Money. That's because they lost. All the losers don't respect it. I, I get that. Yeah. That's what they losers do. Bruh. They don't okay. respect it. This, they don't. That's what, that's what, that, you don't got to respect me winning. You this, never got to respect that. Always, this always I, won, I won. That's what it is, bro. When okay, you bring up we'll, we'll, hold on. Okay. We'll get back. Hold on. We'll get back to this because I, I see where this road going down. So go, but it's still, go, go back to last night. night. Go back to last night, then. Since my you want to go, bad. I do really go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I knew it was going to go there. I knew it was going to go there. You say anything about it, boy. They be ready, boy. <laughs> I'm so disappointed in the Lakers, man. Last <laughs> night, blowing that 20 point lead, bro. Man. That, 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 that right there just. Solidified that they cannot beat the Nuggets, bro. They the, the, can't. the guys is good, bro. They 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 have a system over there. The I Nuggets feel, are good. I feel like number one, number one, Darvin Ham puts in the worst, <laughs> the worst lineups I've ever seen, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. really do. His rotation like, with, the with the top, with the talent he has, I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Then on top of that. I said I put this on Facebook, bro. I wish we kept the White House. I ain't gonna back, lie. I back. wish we that was the key. That's the key. The White he House guard the Joker. He can guard Joker. Yeah, yeah, I don't care what y'all cool. say about the White Howard, bro. The White Howard would have put the clamps on Jokic. Just I don't because think he would have done that. He, he, he's done, done it before. He he done, look at all the matchups. Look at all the matchups. Stop him. Just, Jamal McGee. Murray wasn't healthy that season. JaVale McGee, that's another yeah, that, one. JaVale McGee, too, when they had Dwight and JaVale. That was athletic great. centers. White, athletic centers give him problems. Yes. Bro, he goes to work on him. Joel Embiid all the that's time. That's not an athletic either. center, though. Yeah, Joel, he too. Okay, you don't want yeah. to consider that athletic. Okay, he goes to work on. There what aren't you any, can, bro. He's not a center, but when you could. No. Nah. There aren't any, bro. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say uh, Giannis. They're I think not, Giannis guards. Nah, bro. But that's Gars not too. even a center, bro. He guards too. Dwight, the Dwight, Dwight Howard is 
pause is a big body, bro. That's a big body with a forty with a forty thirty nine inch vertical, bro. With the block the shoulders, like, yeah, come bro. On, bro. Defensive it's player, three time defensive player of the year. Yeah, nah. Joker can't couldn't do nothing with him. Not just nothing. not just one time, but multiple times. Because Jamal Dwight Murray Howard. was not there. <laughs> that had nothing to do with the defense. Yes, it does. Jokers. Jamal Murray is the reason why they. No, it Jamal, he, was not, he was not there when. He kept with defensive rebounds. And yeah, yeah, bro. Not, yeah, now that he does. I but, wish we kept him. I wish with his trash ass. I still can can't I get over 2012, man. I can't get over that. <laughs> trash ass, Nick. Can I pose a question to the group? This is Go ahead. This ain't got nothing to do with the playoffs, but I just was thinking about this earlier today. If you put the best Euro players on the team and you put the best American players on the team, who would win? America. Euro. I still think Euro. Euro. We talking about Euro. current or all time? Oh, no, right now. In right right now? now, bro. If you think Euro, Euro. about to Joker? see anything, man? Yeah, now we not. Okay. We can't keep. Oh, you lie, think Euro, Euro, or Luka. like world? Luca at point. Luka if you think global, you got Giannis at the small forward. Global. You got yeah. oh Kyrie. We lose Kyrie. SGA. That's not. That, yeah. That's no. Kyrie's that's world. Kyrie's, from, Kyrie, Kyrie's not from. Kyrie's not from America. He's from Australia, so man. That's not yes. Yeah. That's the world, bro. That's the world. He meant you, world. You said world, or you mean like? Europe? I, I no, meant, he said. I meant he world. Said, I said. Oh, you, you meant world. world. Okay, okay. Well, yeah. SGA, Luca, uh, Kyrie, Giannis, Kyrie Jokic, played for United States. Joker, man. Joker. The entire MVP race. Yeah. <laughs> Jamal really? Murray. Joel and Hold on, hold on, no. Okay, do it like this. Who your you got son? You got Wings. Joker. You got Joker. Now who's yeah, gonna got... be your power four? Giannis. Okay, mm-hmm. who's gonna be your small you also... four? You also got Rudy Gobert. Luca. You can put Rudy Gobert. Yeah, you can put Luca there. Yeah, I put Luca at the three. Who's gonna okay. be? No. Now who is who's your two be... and one? Uh, two is SGA, and one is Jamal Murray. Yeah. No. Okay. Now you. Now you think. Now if I put. KD out there. I put Braun out there. Okay. I put Joel. Out. If you want to consider Joel a center, Joel, hey, man, man, no, no. Man, we put AD, we put AD at the five. Now no. we got we down to the two guard. We can put we can put Ant or Book mm. at the two, and it doesn't matter at point guard who you want to go. with. You want to go with Ja. AD I don't go with anybody at point guard. You go with Dame at point. Go with Dame. Who you want to go? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why Team America gonna lose. Team America gonna lose. I'm gonna tell you why they gonna lose. Because the European team is gonna play much better basketball. Exactly. It's it's gonna they gonna play much better brand of basketball. Okay. First of all, you got LeBron, so it's gonna be high screen and roll every. Every play down the court, like Chris, I'm, I'm telling you. Okay, telling you this, this 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 will sum it up right now. They play in the Olympics. Him Who goes? Right. You, you right. think you'll be on the same team? No, bro. but team world, team world, and team Europe is, is different. I like, oh, so you oh, like, oh, okay, my fault, my fault. You know, guys, we did say it. If Jason would have put, if Jason would have put Joker at five and B at four, Giannis three, Murray one, and maybe Luke. Bro, that's a whole that, different squad, bro. That wouldn't even have been my lineup. My, I would have had Shea right. at one. Oh, I had, oh yeah. I had Shea at two. At two. No, no, no. You know why? Because you know who my my four is gonna be? Mm. Wimby. Oh. Oh yeah, Wimby. Wimby oh, be the five, God. bro. Bro, this is nope. bro. It's nasty. Bro. You can find a way to put Wimby at four, bro. It's, it doesn't matter. It's, <laughs> and, and put no, it don't good. matter. Yeah, <laughs> that, that is true. You still got Katie. Still got you. Still got Bron, bro. Bro, you can't name you all these they guys be, over thirty-two Shea. years old. Talking about they about to be too many big bodies, bro. Is nobody think they will be Shay? I put it they like that. All the guys, guys. Wimby, Joker. Who's Guardiani? Go ahead, Ot. Who's Guardiani? Hold on, hold on. Let Ot go. What'd you say? The starters they got: Steph Curry, Devin Booker, LeBron, KD, AD. That's the starter. Okay. For, for the world, it's Luka, SGA, Giannis, Wimbyama, and Joker. So, we my all have that. so <laughs> who's guarding the four and the five? 
the bench. Nobody is guarding the four and the five, bro. Nobody. The, the bench they got Dane, Donovan Mitchell, Jimmy B, Kawhi, Tatum, and B, and Bam. And not He's not from America. He got if, 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 if they play for the United States, they from America. No, they not. <laughs> it, don't, it don't matter. I'm going to give it to the world because they bench ain't that good. They bench is decent. They got Murray, Ananobi, Wiggins. Wiggins going to throw them off. Yeah. Siakam, Carl Anthony Towns, and Rudy Gobert. They got size for sure. Oh, but they, but they are, starting five? They, yeah. they still got Kyrie. They got, they got still all like the tallest niggas in the league on their on they side. Starting and they get dumped. They got, they got size over there. You said yeah, yeah, Wimby, 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 Wimby at four. Wimby, Joe Wimby, Wimby, Wimby at the four. Out of everybody on the world, how many people you can name better than KD? Right now? Bro, right now. Right now. now. Joker. Yeah, right now. Uh, offensively and Luka, defensively or just Jay, offensively? Luka, just as a basketball Joker, player. Joker. Luka. Joker. Luka. Luka is not better than Kevin Durant, man. Today? Yeah, because he put up a lot of stats. Right does not make him better. Yes, he today? is, bro. Today, I did. I did KD can't right carry now. a Career, team like Luca. Career wise, I, I career wise, oh, where, where has Luca carried them? To the playoffs, KD can't carry his KD team to the playoffs to the finals. by himself. KD no, we, 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 we're Westbrook and Curry. Curry. Bro, to the bro, them finals. all of them were young. Kevin Curry, all of them were young, bro. But Hall of Fame is Hall of Fame, bro. Great is great. No, back then, we'd be you young. You would have said, said the hold on. Back then, you would have said James Harden is James Harden that went to the Houston Rockets. No, you, no, you wouldn't. He, he can't. Yeah. Bro, the next year he averaged twenty five. He just needs a minute. I don't know why he I'm averaged eighteen KD. off the bench. <laughs> bro, KD, K, KD took Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, and Green to the finals. So he carried them boys to the finals. Hold on, hold on. Just answer this, and I want you to answer this with seventy three and nine. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Answer this. Answer this. If KD hey, never that, joined, hold on, hold on, just answer this with a simple yes or no. If KD never went there, would they want another championship going against LeBron and them? With a healthy Kyrie and uh, Kevin Love? With a healthy no, they, Kyrie? No, they, they, they wouldn't have won. They wouldn't have won. They wouldn't they would have, have won. won. They would have went back, but they wouldn't have won. All I'm saying is, but that doesn't they mean that they beat the Cavs. Is when KD they didn't, didn't have them. Love he didn't care. And Kyrie Irving, he didn't carry that team. That team was already yeah, right. the time They beat LeBron, bro. They Without just needed KD. an extra. They just need an extra punch to take them over. KD was like the a same. Whole, the same guy that won Finals whole, MVP. KD's like a whole boxing gym, bro. They just need a little bit. KD. Brought a lot. Oh, oh, let me ask you this question: Did KD win after them? Did, did, did KD carry Oklahoma City? Yes. The yes. Okay. He didn't. How do you carry them? Okay. 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 Didn't want I, to carry them. Have they been West to the West final West. since? Have they been West to the final West. since? <laughs> Has KD been? Oh, oh, they been oh, to the final since? <laughs> That's the bro, same hey. argument you can make for KD. Has KD won a ring since he left the Warriors? Like no, Woody has not, been hurt. That's not his, that is literally so think, right now. That man he was hurt last year. That, that he was man hurt was, last year. That man was. He was hurt a, the year they lost in uh they lost in Brooklyn when they lost to the Bucks. He wasn't hurt that year. The year he, wasn't he went hurt. to when the, he stepped, the year he when went he stepped to on the line and his three was a two. That year, the year he went he to there. the Knicks. <laughs> the year he went to the Knicks, uh, he was know. hurt. Him and Kyrie did not I'm talking about that. I'm talking about the year, bro. He's the very next, the, the, very, the very next year after that. <laughs> that if, his, if, it, if anywhere <laughs> size 35, they are going to the Eastern Conference hey, Finals. I, he, I <laughs> hear you, dog. I hear you, but I'm just saying. The and they, Warriors will, they would have beat the Atlanta Hawks. Warriors went to the finals and won since KD left. KD had been nowhere since cool. he left. He even picked his own team, bro. Two times. That's cool. Hey, uh, That's okay. cool. Hey, hey, anyway, going back yeah. to the initial conversation, oh, Luke is going to KD at this point. To be honest, Luca is better than KD at this point. I mean, no, we're I mean, talking right about the playoff. Now, I want y'all to go back to the playoff. Luka is better than KD. <laughs> go back yeah. to the playoff. I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> My bad. That was Boy, y'all keep talking about all this bull, yeah. I do got one more thing to say, but I'm – No, no, we're going we gonna to save it now. I ain't got time for all but this It's now. directed <laughs> towards our line directly. <laughs> What's up? Go ahead. Get it out of the way. Man. Well, you know, the last time I was on here, our line was talking about – the fight, and you know, he said 
You oh, know? no, no, say that, say that for last. Say that, KD for just, say that. You know, all I'm saying is KD was punching. You know, he's that extra punch for them. And I, I have my, my hundred dollars, and it's kind of lonely over here for when Jake Paul win this fight. That's all. <laughs> Since we're talking about punching. Uh, oh, no, no. We're going we gonna to get there. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. <laughs> but, uh, Me too. What y'all, tell you, what you thought, what you thought about last night's game? You can talk oh, about man. either one. Uh, man, what I, the games I watched, well, I just watched the Lakers game last night, honestly. And, uh, man, they just can't, they, they, the scary thing about the Lakers is like, I don't see them playing no better. I mean, you get yeah. and that's what 30, I was saying. Thirty-two points from what AD, yeah, LeBron had a great game, and, and it's still not enough. They only scored like you know, what, hundred points, something like that. And they D-Lo. D-Lo. yep, yeah. they got to find some D-Lo points shooting somewhere up. elsewhere. Yeah, I like, agree with that. It's just mm-hmm. it's right. tough to see a path that them beating the t- this team, man. When, when you got both of them playing well like that, you know, we can't we can't put it on AD. No, nope. can't put it on AD. He's been healthy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And he been balling. So yeah, we we, you know? we know how y'all LeBron fans don't like to hold LeBron accountable, but that's a whole what other he, story. What did he do? Oh, he, 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 he was balling in the fourth quarter. Holding him accountable. Boy, that the boy you say anything yeah. about he got, LeBron. He gotta boy. make he, he gotta make that shot though. Yeah. I don't think he gotta make that shot. Why but if you don't take it, you gotta make it. Why? No. He said you're not gonna get a better shot than that. Not why is a big physical presence. Great. He should have drove in and got the foul. That's all he had to do. Yep. That's all he had to do. You trying to blow that whistle. They didn't blow the whistle. Lately, yes, that's just what the free throw line. That was a big part of his complaint with the whistle on the foul. The problem with that is he's so dramatic that they're not gonna blow the whistle. They're just gonna think he in there playing. Yeah, that's, the that's not right? what. That's not what Man, it is. Last <laughs> night would have been different though. Last night would have been different if he would have make that shot, bro. He got to make that shot. He's bro. been making but, those but, but, shots. Like but, that's bro, part of his red, game. That ain't no excuse, bro. How many? Didn't he have like twelve points in the fourth quarter? It ripped that's in cool. and out. That's cool, but he ain't made that one. He was <laughs> four was seven a, down the stretch. No, he was he was he was three of six in clutch time minutes. Like he damn near carried the team. He scored what? Was it not? Well, he was three or five before he missed that shot. We just we did a few plays. Y'all impossible, boy. Y'all let me tell you something. Y'all are impossible, bro. What started it for me was that run that they made at the end of the third. When they made that run, yeah, I said, Oh shit, it's gonna be a long fourth quarter. I already knew it. Right. Wow. Tez, Man, to your you point know. about them playing better, I think I think they can play better. Meanwhile, we missing Vando and uh Christian Woods, which they gonna come back in game three. You know, Vando is allegedly a, a, yeah. a defensive presence. Uh I don't know how Christian Woods gonna play against yeah, Joker. Yeah, Joker. Yeah. That's gonna be a different story. But all I'm saying, these role the role players didn't step up last night. And I yeah. feel like they could have. Like AR had nine points, bro. Nine yeah. points. D Lo balled out. He had 23. Mm-hmm. But he they didn't have no help. They didn't have no yeah. help at all, bro. For, I want to get yeah. on the way. I think no, yeah, it's my fault. Yeah, I mean get Rui involved, but just real quick. Some kind of way Rui is very efficient. Exactly. More touches, dog. I ain't be mad when He'll hit twenty-one game, and then next one he only take four shots. It's like, bro, broken, yeah. broken cook, giving the ball. I, I, I agree. agree. I agree. That's, that's coaching. Though. I think. I think they put up a uh, definitely a stat this morning that I thought was like crazy. Like, uh, they had AD, LeBron, and uh, AD, LeBron, and uh, D'Lo. Like, they had eighty-one points. Roy had his points. Like, all the starters had whatever points they had. The only person that been scoring off the bench in the last in these first two games is Tory and Prince. That is crazy. So, <laughs> them dudes yeah. literally out there just running, bro. Them boys are getting cardio in. <laughs> so they said they only took three shots out of yeah. the two games. So who do you take yeah. shots from? I though? just, like, I just, huh? It, you got, you got AB. You yeah, got Brown. but you still gonna yeah. need them bitch players, bro. You, yeah, this, this, them, this is the time where you shine in the playoff. Like them bitch players, like uh, old boy last year, uh, Caleb Martin for the Heat. You yeah, see yeah. how he was being Bryce Brown for the Nuggets. 
about to say, just what, stuff like money, that. This is where the bitch players go to shine. Though. All right, so this, right, it, it, it comes down to this, man. Denver is just an overall better team than the Lakers, to be honest oh, with you. That, that, from, really from, from, from the bench to the starters, to be honest with you. Okay. Yeah. They play better saw, basketball. Um, yeah. I saw, this, sure. uh, I saw this stat earlier today that in clutch time minutes, the Nuggets went seven for seven. Seven for seven. Bro, they went a perfect seven for seven from the field. Lakers went four for seven. Bro, one team didn't miss. One team barely missed. It, the the Nuggets just a better team. If a team can just be better than you. But they, they've been together so long, bro. That's probably all mm-hmm. they worked on. That, that helps too. Exactly. And well, even seven, if you look at turnovers, like mm-hmm. Joker again, you got to think about the few times Joker got an extra offensive rebound, got him a bucket. Yeah, he like, had what twenty boards. All that. Well, that's it. That should be adding up, though. Well, well, bro, you got look at it like this too. If you looked at the game, you notice like the Nuggets missed a bunch of great open shots in the beginning. Like they missed a lot of wide open shots, and the yeah, yeah. Lakers making these tough contested shots. I was just like, "Oh, this ain't sustainable. This ain't yeah. sustainable." Over the course of a game, and then with the way they shoot the three nowadays, and the way Joker is almost the instant bucket from inside the two, down by twenty going into the third ain't really a uh, something that'll make me nervous if I'm the Nuggets, bro. If I get oh, yeah. to ten or eight by the fourth, and then we then it's just me versus you. Hey, and a correct. high altitude basketball goal. I mean, correct. basketball gym. Yeah. Correct you. Joker is a bucket against AD. But I guarantee you, he wouldn't he be a bucket that. like Cal. that with the White Howard. Cal. Oh, I know. Let's get this one thing on straight. It ain't even about uh, the White. I'm just pissed off because AD was doing all that crime before the game time. And that lead don't like me. Yeah, they don't want to put me as defensive player of the year and all this other stuff. So I'm yeah. like, okay. Yeah. And then you go out there and ball. I'm like, okay. But bro, the man had a 20, 20, and 10 triple dub on you. And you know how many Bruh. times that has happened in the Bruh. league? And the Bruh. Joker has Bruh. done that more times than anybody in the history Bruh. of the Bruh. game. He's literally but, but, that, but that don't go. make you a bad defender if there's one nigga you can't guard. That's one guy you can't guard. That'll make you a bad defender, bro. <laughs> it doesn't. Like, and, and, and we can all agree. Come on, bro. 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 Come Oh my god, bro. This man is gonna be dangerous for years to come, bro. It's unfair, <laughs> dog. What this man can do, bro. When I seen him do that sham guy but in the middle of the free throw, I was like, oh my god, bro. It's unfair, bro. This dude can do everything, dog. This Once he figure it out. Once he figure out what he's doing for real, it's gonna be bro. dangerous. I think if he yeah. just put just a just a little muscle on him, bro, it's just like, bro, come on. Brett, when I was thinking about it, that's why. That whole uh USA versus Euro shit. I'm like Joker and Wimby can score 20 buckets without the ball ever touching the ground. <laughs> That's what they need to do for the all-star game. That's what they need to do. On for inbound game. passes, bro. Joker is such Real a good rap. inbound pass and Wimby is like w- Wimby is an all-star nation. Wimby you can go on him book that. Jerry Rice. <laughs> That's what they do. That's what they do for all-star game. Uh world Wimby's versus cheap. US. Well, I would have yeah. uh yeah, right. I, I don't know what the Lakers find. That fixes. Honestly, I, I'm honestly tired of talking about the Lakers. They just can't beat the Nuggets. But I did well, watch yeah. that uh, that Cleveland Cavaliers and Orlando game. Cavaliers, they looking pretty dangerous, bro. I'm not yeah, even. Everybody alone. looks good against Orlando, bro. That's why I just about to say everybody. Yeah, but Orlando made it though. They made it. They so won thirty some games, didn't they? Like, come on, bro. No, no, no. They they won. They won some games. Man. They won more thirty. Than that. I think they, they. I don't think they won forty games. If you don't include the play in games, I don't think they won forty games. Okay, we, we'll do it like this. Uh, who y'all think is outside of Denver? Who y'all think is uh the most dangerous team? In the uh, playoff, 
I said I'll just go first because I've been saying this. I think if Kawhi is healthy, the Clippers are a team to watch because James Harden ain't got to be a one. Because if he a one, he gonna find a way to lose the game. And not using the three scoring, distributing. Russ coming off the bench. They are a scary team if he's healthy. Fool me one. I can get up for them again. But Clippers, the only time they real good is when they playing against the Lakers. Everybody else, they went to bed for some reason. They can't finish. I just don't see it. Yeah, they play their best, their best basketball. Well, everybody play their best basketball against the Lakers, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we we can do – well, this will be quick or oh, whatnot. Okay. Just to go through these awards real quick. Most valuable player, who y'all got, Luca, Shea, or Joker? SGA. Okay, we got one SGA. 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 You got who OKC in the number one seed, bro. Who I think gonna win it? Or who who uh, who? Uh, now, who you got winning? Who I got winning? It? Uh, we got two SGA so far. Joker. I think one Joker. Jason, who you got? Oh, I'm going SGA for sure. Three. Who you got, Arlon? SGA. Ain't everybody going SGA? I think <laughs> yeah. I, I think it may be SGA year. I think it could possibly be his year if if. Anybody else winning outside of him, I think it'd be Joe. I really, yeah. I really, I really think it, uh, I want to go with SGA. I really do, but they, they lazy with this award, man. Year after year. Now this, now this award. Now me and you talked about this, Tiz. I think this is a very, very interesting one. Defensive player of the year. Yeah. We got Bam. We got Rudy. We got Wimby. It's Wimby. Now. <laughs> Wimby. I'm going Wimby. With Wimby. I'm staying with Wimby. Wimby. <laughs> Everybody saying Wimby. Wimby. Yeah. Absolutely. Arlon, you saying Wimby? Yeah, for sure. Okay. The problem that I said, okay, yes. I can say Wimby be defensive player of the year. But the only problem I think, the only way I see them not giving it to him is because it's his record, the team, defensive. uh, Everything defensive is like below, way at at the bottom. Like, yes, he puts up good stats. But that's the only way I can see him not winning it. I don't see them giving it to Rudy Gobert. I can see him giving it to Bam. Bam. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Bam right now. Well, to I be honest with you, AD should have been a finalist, bro. Man. AD should have been over Bam, bro. He should have, bro. Man, man. This, has, Bam. this has been his most consistent year, bro. Out of all the years he didn't play at LA, this has been his most consistent year. Games, but that's, that's by his own yeah. standards, though. And that what I'm yeah. saying. The man name is Street Clothes. <laughs> man, <what the laughs> My name always in the street clothes, man. You can't, you can't help yourself, body. Think... Oh yeah, man. You can. Hey, man. You doing you something wrong? Up, hey, man. If she, hey, if Shay Sharp say you doing something wrong, you doing something wrong. Man, man. Nah, <laughs> man you're right. I think they get this award to Wimby though. Well, yeah, we, I can't, I can't do a uh, most improved player because they announced it today. But I would have said uh, Tyrese Massey anyway. Mm-hmm. He he balling in that New York and uh, New York and uh, sister series for, for what yeah. for what award? Most improved. Oh yeah, but they only had series. they only had Kobe Ooh, White and uh, old boy from the Rockets. Kobe White from the Bull. Yeah, Kobe Kobe been stepping up. Yeah, he bought it. He has been stepping up. But but they already gave it to Tyrese Massey. I can see it. Yeah, yeah. Bro, that Rick Rick out of here. I'm going Brandon Miller. I'm just playing. (laughs) I I want my I want my guy to win it, but this is when it was Wimby Wimby Award before Christmas. It was a Wimby Award by Christmas, man. (laughs) It's, It's almost run away. I would be very, very surprised somebody got a first okay. place vote over him. Okay, so to make it interesting, who's second? Home grip. They're going to they gonna, they gonna give it a check. Check. For, check. Uh, for two. Now, this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, Six man of the year. Malik Monk, Bobby Portis, and uh, Nas Reed. Mm. Nas Reed. Mm. Nas Reed was hooping, bro. But I give him yeah. Malik Monk. Malik Monk was hooping this year. Yeah, I, I think between those two. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Give it to Bobby. I probably give it to Monk. Yeah. 
Yeah, I lean towards Mo. Now, now, I guess this is a new award, NBA Clutch Player of the Year. Yeah. Uh, Steph Curry, DeMar DeRozan, and Shea Gillis Alexander. Sheesh. It should I'm be giving Shea. It, I'm giving they it to I, I still say give it. I say give it to uh, Demar. Yeah, Demar. Demar Derozan. Yeah, I'll give it to him. Yeah, I can't even yeah, name. On the line, he a dog. Yeah, yeah. He is. I wish the Lakers would have picked him up, bro. For real, and they had the opportunity to. Man, don't even get me started, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, the, the 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 biggest What's lie on. Oh, what was this? Has been the biggest lie for the past, I think, two or three years with the Lakers. We supposed to get uh Zach Levine. We supposed to get uh uh what's the old boy Turner from uh Indiana. We supposed My to get team. Buddy here. Mm-hmm. We supposed to get uh Dejon Murray. Like, bro, and guess who we got? None of them. So, <laughs> yeah, like, bro, stop it, bro. I'm, I'm about tired of I just hate that we tried to save space for Kawhi Leonard <laughs> and gave us <laughs> on the wild. Hey, bro. I, 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 bro, bro the way they did it. I don't I I I understand bro. why I, they hired I, I, Kobe's agent to be fucking running that organ, that operation, bro. Oh, well, yeah. Running it well. Robert Palenka, he did he did pretty good, but he should you should have seen how magic was running. <laughs> yeah, Ma- magic was That's why he left. Magic was trash. All right, last award. Uh coach of the year. I don't even know how to I don't even know uh, how to pronounce uh OKC coach name. Uh Mark something. Okay. Uh Minnesota Timberwolves, Chris French. And uh, Orlando's Magic coach, which I did not know they had a black coach. This is how much Orlando yeah. Orlando, ba- Orlando <laughs> Magic basketball I have watched all year. I didn't even know they uh, had black. Oh, yeah, they yeah. won. They won forty seven games, bro. I was, I was mistaken. They won forty seven games. That, that is a yeah, good year yeah. by their standards. How bad they are. Oh, sure. And he uh, yeah. Jamal Jamal Mosley. I'm I'm gonna go with OKC coach just because it's OKC and you don't have no uh, KD, you don't have no Russ, you don't have none yeah. of these guys. We just said and they got the MVP of the league, bro. But that's I'm all actually, they got. I'm, I'm going Minnesota yeah, now yeah. and the rookie of the end, the runner up to rookie of the year. They got some good players. I'm going Minnesota, bro. Yeah, I was about the to court, say I'm going yeah. Minnesota, bro. The like, quote Jeff Teague, bro. Who the yeah. fuck went in Minnesota? <laughs> Like, come on, bro. You had Minnesota in the race for the one seed without, 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 Cap. without Cap, yeah. bro. I'm tell you, I'll tell you like this. Like, I'm a Suns fan. We playing them right now. I wish we wasn't. Oh yeah, yeah. it's all about matchups. <laughs> I wish we wasn't. I wish we were playing OKC. Shoot. I think, oh, Lakers, I, I, think I, I think Lakers could have beat anybody <laughs> other than the Nuggets in the West, bro. I agree. That, yeah. That's why. That's why bro, everybody that's was saying, question. should they lose this game? And just play uh the team for the uh eighth place game. Dang, on, yeah, uh, you, I nah, think that's what you, they should have You did. gotta see nah, cause then the Nuggets gonna know you did it. Like, nah, you gotta see the Nuggets eventually. You might as well see them early. Go and see them early, bro. I, I guess yeah. we just gonna get put out early because I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> if, we, if we don't win bro. these next two games, bro, we bro, are no. done. In all fairness, bro, that's can't a cool. one, two, three, can cool. <laughs> can cool. That's, that's a tough draw in the first round to get. Yeah, yeah that, is, that is a hell of a draw in the first like, round. That's horrible, bro. Like we definitely gonna lose this. Lose this. And they just season. business as usual, bro. They was yeah. Like, and then the fact, yeah, the fact that we couldn't split last night. That yeah, yeah that was tough, man. They played hard too. The Nuggets just locking in. Yeah. Them them boys can play, bro. They got a good overall team, bro. And they been what's, scoring. What's scary is Joker. He don't even care about it like that. At all. <laughs> even when championship is like, I want to go home and see my horses. Hold on, before right? I uh, move on to the next one. Did y'all see that? Um, uh, it, it wasn't a commercial, but it was a uh, post. Y'all remember that uh, LeBron post when he went to go holler at his younger self? Mm-hmm. Like the older LeBron, like he was sitting on the bed telling him, like, I can't tell you yeah. your future and all that stuff. So yeah. they had that same picture as a meme, and they said, uh, 
go down to Russia and tell this kid Nikola Jokic to just focus on horses. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I can stop laughing. At him. I can see it. Yeah. Do it before it's too late. <laughs> them, don't worry yeah. about basketball. Just focus on these horses. But oh uh, man, let me go to the last one. Good old rap beef. Everybody beefing. <laughs> All I've been wanting to talk about this uh, AI thing for the longest, and for the third consecutive, probably the fourth week in a row, ladies and gentlemen, somehow Drake and Kendrick <laughs> will be in the conversation. <laughs> we can't escape. I mean, but, is, it, is, it, is it really rap beef or, or are they just passing around love licks? That, this this shit don't yeah. even feel like rap. It ain't beef, real. man. It ain't beef. Yeah. I, I, what, I, I what, believe what? Chris Brown. I believe Chris Brown and um and uh Quavo Quavo. can really get there. <laughs> like that's I'm talking about. That's beef. That's beef. Like somebody can really girl. get hurt in this. Yeah, I don't want to see that. Female. No, I, I, I believe anytime somebody have rap beef or any type of beef with somebody, I believe it should be a celebrity. Any type of celebrity of uh, boxing match coming up. The rapper should be the undercard. Mm. Just go ahead and swing <laughs> it out. They need to play one on one, one on one basketball because they both can hoop. That's what they need. Quavo, 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 oh, that's a real conversation. Quavo or Chris Brown. I'm going with Quavo. Nah, bro. No, what? Chris Brown. Oh, what, what, what? Chris Brown can hoop. Chris Brown can hoop too. Bro, bro. Chris Brown can hoop too. Chris Brown can hoop too. Chris Brown can hoop Chris Brown can hoop too. Chris Brown Easy. Quavo five Easy. six, Brown six two. Chris Brown about six man. three six four, bro. They both they stop both it, bro. Man, Quavo any, can hoop, bro. Any dunk, any dunk off vert, bro. Man, I'm not going. I'm not going. Bro, have you ever seen Quavo hoop, bro? Matter of yes, fact, but you even, seen, even, even the celebrity All Star game MVP. Quavo ain't in no shape, bro. Bro, stop it. You ain't seen Chris Brown. Is incredible. Yeah, look, look, look. He says, he's hey, look. Form. Quavo, Quavo, <laughs> Quavo ain't even better than Adam Sandler. Boy, you sleep as hell, boy. You ain't, boy. You must ain't never seen it, boy. Stop. That boy's an overall athlete. Don't I think they ought to just box, man, and put it on the undercard of that Mike. And that's what I'm saying, ball, bro. Right? Just box. Yeah. Everybody just box, and we'll get Charge a billion dollars. Mm. I don't want to see that either. It's going to end up like the basketball game. It's going to be ugly. Brown going to sweep him, too. Who, who you got in the fight, then? I got the boy Quavo. I got Chris Brown. Why you got this? Bro, why you not believe in Chris Brown so much, bro? Quavo, I mean, Chris Brown is not like that, bro. This man is staying in the middle of the game. Y'all have never seen Chris Brown in no fight, bro. He owns drugs. Some people don't see the fight, bro. Who better than Chris Brown? Quavo can't hoop better than Chris Brown. <laughs> Hold on, what was that first one? I said one, he can't hoop better than Chris Brown. Cap. Right. Can't rap better than Chris Brown either. I Chris believe Brown somebody goes rang right Chris Brown still. No, man. he was a rapper. He started <laughs> off as a rapper. Chris got a pen. Man, 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 now, if we only think Brown, Chris Brown, off as on, 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 only thing Chris Brown can do better than this man is sing and dance. That is it. And Bro, what acting chops you seen Chris Brown have, bro? Bro, you gonna take it? Bro, you gonna, bro? Chris Brown did not stand out, bro. You acting like he Jamie Foxx or bro, Will Smith you or something? Like, bro, you acting like Quavo Denzel or something, bro? I never he said he was a better actor. Okay, okay, you want to give Chris Brown better actor? Chris Brown looks like he's not playing a Tyler Perry movie. Bro, you, the hate for Chris Brown is crazy, bro. I, I don't even know how you doing bro, this. Bro, I, I love that's Chris how you show Brown. your love? Bro, I don't know, I just, bro. bro. He can't show your love. Hey, bro, bro. Who Brown can draw? Stop it, bro. Quavo can't draw like Chris Brown. <laughs> Chris is an artist. He's he can draw. Okay. For sure. oh, yeah. I, I, I don't know if Quavo can draw, but I, I know Chris Brown can draw, so I get it. I get yeah, it. Once again. He on drugs. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> on drugs. Real drugs. Yeah, he is on them drugs. Man. Nah. Only thing I think this, this whole this whole beef is stupid, especially if it's over a woman. Man, they not keeping it player at all. This, 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 they really just like, telling dirt on each other. It ain't yeah, even that's right. it. 
Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. Bro. It, 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 I, think I bet they don't know this. <laughs> way he tried to back down instead of keeping the G. And then so shit, Chris just returned the favor. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. If that's your partner, dog, yeah, I I I, I can't lie, man. That if that's your boy and you do some mess like that, that ain't that ain't cool, man. But I think Chris is, Brown is so Oh, go ahead. No, no, you go, bro. My bad. Nah, I was just about to say, I think Chris Brown exposed how bad of a rapper Quavo is, to be honest with you. There was nothing to expose, bro. Everybody knew that. Mama! Yeah. Some I people say, didn't know. I would I mean, say he's a bad rapper. He just, he's, some guy he's a bad, bad rapper, rapper, bro. He's a bad, he's he's a a bad catchy, rapper. He's a catchy rapper. That's all he yeah, is. He's a no, he's a, he's a bad rapper. So, he's just not a good rapper. So let's be let's be real. I don't think catchy and, one of them catchy and good, no. the best rapper. I think Chris Brown is an impressive rapper because he can sing. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I don't think if he was just a rapper, I wouldn't listen to uh, Chris Brown. Right. Hold on, what, what, what look at he, me now? His verse on "Look at Me Now" was. was yeah, I mean, everybody. Yeah, that's that's it's, that's a verse. Is if Chris Brown dropped a rap album right now, ain't nobody gonna be like, "Oh, bro, did, did Chris Brown I mean, boy Jim? Hey, people going to go listen to that Andre 3K flute out. Yeah, <laughs> this is true. Yeah, don't, mean, don't mean they yeah, saying, hey, man, I'm playing that flute in the car, boy. It was, it was a mid flute yeah, album. <laughs> but see, see, think about it with the flute album, everybody expected him to say something on there. That's the reason why they <laughs> listen to it. Because <laughs> no, I expect no. him to say something. No, no, hold on, hold on. No, not everybody. Somebody that's not on the show tonight. That's usually on the show, The Haven, Mr. Texas himself. He was expecting more from him. He was expecting more. I was so. expecting better flute play. Like, if you're going to drop a <laughs> flute <laughs> album, that joint got to be foxy. That thing was <laughs> mid, bro. Uh, Anybody who's been wait, in the band wait, heard wait, better wait, flute play than band, that. So you know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that joint was mid, bro. That joint was like... You just started the flute a few years ago. Yeah, it, you just it, it was, it was it, worse than this. Did you? Isn't that what we all want out of life, bro? Is just to be able to drop an album with an instrument that you don't even play and sell millions of records and just get paid. <laughs> that man, that man, <laughs> like, that man on that You ain't even got to write no music or nothing. You just. <laughs> hey, that was man. a watercolor album. <laughs> man, stop it, bro. <laughs> but you know what, though? I guarantee you, a lot, a lot of our counterparts still listen to his album. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah they, they thought he was gonna rap on there, bro. They thought he was gonna rap. I thought he yeah. was gonna rap too. That's why I listened to it. Well, before, yeah. well, before we get out of here, before we get out of here, I'm gonna uh, ask OT this in a minute. But uh, you want to talk about this AI real quick, man, so you can get it out of the way, so we can just say we talked about. Bro, why? I don't, bro, I don't know him. why you're doing me like this, bro. <laughs> bro we I'm talking you, bro, about we're literally... potentially. <laughs> <laughs> we talking about potentially one of the biggest artists of all time finally answering Kendrick Lamar, and you just gonna gloss over it, bro. No, we talked about we talked about the uh, rap song, but you talking about this AI with Snoop Dogg and Tupac? Yeah, no, that's that's the song. That's the song. No, that's Great the creative. second response. That's the second response. That was just like just saying, it's oh, that, that no, it was, like, it was like back to back. I don't, yeah, yeah, it's a song. He 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 dropped another disc record because Kendrick up there not participating. It's starting to look like Kendrick only does this for rollout. You look at the To Pimp a Butterfly album, King Kunta. You said a Drake disc there. Now we all trying to see what you about to say. Now we listen to Pimp a Butterfly. Man, he ain't got to say nothing because Cole, not Cole apologized. Cole apologized. What did I that, do with that, Drake? Hey, You've been because he like bro, ten years, and now bro. the man takes the time to respond to you. You don't want to say nothing. I don't know, bro. It. It's yeah, one he'd, thing he'd, if you, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was about no, to say no, one fault. thing if you you. It's one thing if you like dissing to like actually have this battle, but it's another thing if you just trying to like drop an album, bro. It's only whack, bro. I like, just, I just want, I want Rick Ross to stop. To be honest with you. Oh, yeah, yeah. no, that, that, that is just the worst, bro. I'm like, bro, stop, I mean, bro. I feel like 
you just need to stay a businessman. Go on, go on, on your your wings to go. Do all that, you know. <laughs> with the going on. Wings to go. <laughs> wings <laughs> spot, whatever. Yeah, whatever you got, man. Just, bro. Just I don't go. respect nobody that eat that wing stuff. I ain't gonna even count to you, bro. I ain't never ate no wings, but I don't like popular wing brands. Bro. I don't like Buffalo Wild Wings. I don't like wing stop. I like to go to the neighborhood place. It's at wing time. I love wing time, but outside of that. I don't wow, go bro. to no popular wings brand. We gotta address spot. your hate. Let, let that be yeah, yeah, topic next yeah, week, bro. Yeah, that's we gotta that's address internal, the stuff bro. you hate. That's internal, the stuff bro. you hate. <laughs> the stuff you hate <laughs> is like <laughs> next <laughs> level, bro. Bro, you like <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings? I like me though. It's no, no bro. Yeah. Bring them like the most basic no. wings in the history of life, bro. You can go right. down the street to any neighborhood wing spot. I'm, and they not, saying than that, I'm not saying they're the best. I'm not you saying, saying that, that, I'm not that's saying that gourmet cool. wings, bro. I'm just saying they're cool. Hi, y'all got hate? Hate? <laughs> I'm not I'm not doing this with y'all tonight. <laughs> y'all, y'all. Yeah, we need a that's the that's the next episode. Look, look, at, what hate hate. look at what you hate. Look at what you hate. You hate, hate, you, hate Chris Brown. Brown. you hate Chris Brown. <laughs> you hate Chris Brown. Hold on, hold on. What is that? Like wing popular wing places. Hey, bro, hey, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to make you say it real quick. What'd you say? Yeah. No, I was just saying yeah. I, I would definitely be down. Who I think Jason said that I would definitely be down talking about some wings, top five wing spots. Oh yeah, I could, yeah. Go for it right now. Go for it right now. I want to talk top about five. We, we ain't gonna know them because they all gonna be local okay. spots. Right, they're they gonna, gonna be local spots, yeah. Okay, well, I, I'll save I'll save it for down the line. Y'all can look up all the wing spots, but if I know <laughs> if I see Buffalo Wild Wings anywhere on anybody's <laughs> stuff, I'm I'm losing respect for it. Hey man, look, look, the next conversation is gonna be top five things Brinsky hates. That's what we're doing. Hold on, we can do that now. We can do that now. We can do that. Nah, nah, we can do that. What is the top five? We can have to come back, bro. We got to go for it right now. Give me, give me five. You hate Chris Brown. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to stop that right now. We need to stop that right now. I got all of Chris Brown. No, you hate Chris Brown. No, you don't like Glow Rilla. Yeah, Glow Rilla. No, no, no. OT, OT. They line, they line, they line. They line. No, it's a reason. Hey, 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 no, I don't. Yeah, bro. No, I don't. It's, it's all good, bro. I mean, <laughs> me and Ed is hard that. as fuck, boy. Me and Ed is one of my favorites. But no, hold on. We're going to address all this. All female uh, rappers outside the 2005. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Only reason I don't like <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> only reason I don't, I said I didn't like Glorilla's song, that uh, Cha 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 song. Nah, you, uh, it was a oh, lot of blue. Yeah, yeah, yes, it was, it was I did, really bro. It's a whole I episode like when. Okay, no, bro. You, it, it, now you did mention that. You, you talking about that? Uh, I like bro, that. You, I tried to. The brother, that, 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 that was a really slander on that episode. That shit was trash, yeah, bro. Yeah, you, and then she came out with that yellow glow. And I said, it started, bro. It started with that, and then it just kept rolling over, bro. You revealed your true colors. It's okay. Okay, what else? Okay, so I don't like Glorilla, which is false. I love Chris Brown, no homo. You don't like you don't like Chris Brown. You don't like Chris Brown. Every chance you hey, he don't like no, LeBron. Don't like he don't like LeBron. Like, no, like, let, let's correct this. I don't like LeBron fans because they are delusional. I don't like LeBron fans. It's a difference. You don't, you don't. You don't like the fact that J. Cole, as a black man, did not want to tear another black man down. <laughs> you hate him. Yeah. Oh, that, that's the most accurate thing y'all said. That's the most accurate thing y'all said. You just want folks to be toxic. Uh, no, nope. yeah. uh, hold on, wait a minute. Yeah, hold on, y'all no ain't about to play. Growth. This is like this is like white people when I they say I got a black friend. This is, this albums, is, this y'all gonna stop playing with me. I got it's all hate Chris growth. Brown albums. But my best friend is black. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, hey, you got his albums, but when the last time you li- actually listened to yeah, it? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Let me see which one. Show, me, show us how many Gorilla albums you got in there, bro. How many Gorilla albums you got in there? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, wait a minute. I'm about to check that for real. I don't, I don't think I got that one song. Yeah, bro, we we know what you don't. We know what's in there, bro. Well, right, I ain't, I ain't yeah, we know what's one, in there. I don't, I don't yeah, have yeah, one yeah. real song. It ain't safe. All right, let me, all right, let me ask OT this, man. I've, I've been wanting to ask him this. 
Uh, now, since they just did a top five, and it was a top five for you, but their top five was inaccurate. Besides that, uh, I hate LeBron. I don't hate LeBron. I hate LeBron fans. <laughs> Uh, uh, your top five is Houston, not even Houston uh, rappers, just rappers in Texas over all time. Ooh, that's a that's a good ass. That's a good ass all of Texas. I, I'm not gonna. I can't name them. I mean, I, I'm not gonna rank them. I'm just you ain't got to rank. Them. Bunny. I can't rank them. Oh, Bun is my favorite. Thing. Yeah, Bun. <laughs> No face. Ooh, number one gotta be shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. Who my favorite right now? Go Sauce ahead. Walker. Sauce Walker. That's my dog. Okay. Sauce Walker. Wrap his ass yeah. up. He been he been shit. He been rapping probably about ten years now, a little over ten years, something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, face. That's up there. Yes. Um, Slim Thug. Oh. No. Um, Chameleon there. Nigga sleep on mm. I think I ain't rapped in forever. But that used to be one of my favorites. And five. Ooh, I'm gonna say the trip. <laughs> I mean, you from the city, man. You ain't gonna say not, not what? <laughs> if you hey. I, mean, I guess I could put I guess I could put my boys kicking back. Money in the state. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody tripping because the money already made. <laughs> you like, bro, you can put pimp up there. I like, bro, not one of these boys. Like, like you can put I think I'm. I got Big Hawk. You got Mike Jones. You got Paul Wall. Mm -hmm. you got, it is a lot. Of things. Like I listen to all of them. Yeah, yeah uh, one one of my uh our partners. He uh yeah, working yeah, tonight. He worked for the Atlanta Braves. Shout out to the Haven. He's from Houston. And mm -hmm. when I tell you, that's why I really wanted you on the show with him. He would have went down the list like, oh, he loved it. He would have been like, this guy, this guy, this guy. I'm talking about, bro, he is H-Town all the way to the fullest. Mm -hmm. But one dude I know I love in uh, Texas right now, I've been trying to put these boys on, it big ass to plug, man. Oh, everybody listen to him, though. Yeah. Yeah. No, everybody was not listening to him at one point. I was like, bro, I'm telling you, dog. It was like right around. The yeah, I wasn't buddy. listening to him at, at first, but yeah, he, he fine. No, I'm yeah, saying, he buddy, fine. buddy, like, I thought last year was like a big year for him. I think 2024 is just setting up for him to just like be known nationwide because he's like one of the best out there. Yeah. But he's uh, got one up and coming rapper. He's still, he's still kind of, I don't want to call him local because he definitely got some buzz. And he got a feature with Bun B. Um, it's called, we'll name this whole later, but his name Mickey Woods Jr. If y'all listen, if y'all like some real rap, like I personally put him in a category with like Cole and Andre 3K. Like mm -hmm. that's the type of rapper he is. Oh, like, yeah. Every mm -hmm. bar gonna be some real shit. He's talking about, you know, just back home stuff, him just working day to day, like shit like that. Like my nigga, my nigga can rap. I have the name say, Mickey Wood? Mickey Woods Jr. Mickey mm -hmm. Woods Jr. Boy, put his full name out there. Yeah, that's his name. Yeah, that's his name. That, I'm telling you, that boy, he, he should be. Where he, he from? He from Port Arthur. Okay. Let okay. me show check him out. And I think this, this is the last one. Now, this is going to be controversial for you. It ain't nothing bad, but it's still controversial. Out of you four guys, who you think is from funniest to least funniest? Oh, you gonna put me on the spot? Like yeah, that's that why I said it's controversial. Hmm. Shit. I don't know. I think I'm pretty funny, but if I had to pick, I'd say smooth first. I, I, that's who I said was first. Smooth, smooth first, man. Um, I probably do. Shit. Smooth. Me, Kenny, and. <laughs> and and definitely and definitely funny as hell, but you know, he more laid back, he more quiet yeah. more times than not smooth, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. off the handle yeah. and shit. Uh so yeah. So I guess I guess I'll rank it like that. But all of us all of us funny in our own different way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, smooth man. Right. Yeah, character. Ken Kenny just be coming out of nowhere with these lines. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh my yeah. god, dog. This this nigga is hilarious, bro. I can't lie, dog. Like the first time when I uh caught y'all uh show, it was probably like two years ago, dog. I was like, bro. <laughs> Matter of fact, all well, you probably don't well, of course you're not gonna know him. Um, all the guys uh are on his that's they uh brand, that's they uh sh- clothing, all that stuff. Those are all the guys on the shirt. Kenny looks like Cody. Cody Carter. Uh <laughs> When I swear to God, bro, if y'all go on that YouTube channel and just look at Kenny, I like, bro, him and Cody look just like, uh, like cool. they can be brothers. And the worst crazy thing about it, dude, um, Cody stay in Houston. I said, them boys run into each other, bro. They're gonna be doing a little Spider Man meme with uh, each other. <laughs> <laughs> Only difference is Cody ball headed now, so. Okay. okay. But man. I definitely appreciate you for coming on the show, man. But we're going to uh, end with everybody uh, with their uh, social media and all that good stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and start with Jason since you up top. Yo, yeah, I mean, you can follow me at uh, Jason Bernard Official for all of your sneaker needs and part-time bullshit. All that good stuff. Ted, uh, you follow me, same place. <laughs> <laughs> Got it right that time. <laughs> For the photos and all that good stuff. Yeah. Talk to me nice, don't talk to me twice. Hey, it's QG, QG sophisticated. Follow me on all socials. Four six. <clears throat> What's up? Follow me on IG, ESG underscore AEA underscore DCS. I'm um, not answering legal questions, but if you just want to shoot the shit, feel free to hit me up. Also, comment on the video, like and subscribe, and uh, see y'all at episode 35. Bro, it's so funny every time you got to give that disclaimer. Like, I can't give no oh, more bro. legal advice. <laughs> the the bro. inbox is crazy. But you are most professional look we we my i'm trying to let my dog keep his job man he's still at work with all them files and stuff free everybody that he represents <laughs> except the crazy ones right, right. that crazy i'm on i'm undefeated dog no one's been in prison 40 40 trials in yeah that's good that was great ot yeah. for the crew season podcast follow me here crew season or my personal so well underscore fitness um, I do personal training as well on the side when I'm not working or I'm not part. Nope. And as always, I'm Brinsky Sharp of the Sharpshooters Podcast. Catch us every Wednesday. Uh, appreciate everybody for uh, coming on. Just keep on uh, subscribing, everybody. We're almost at 500 subscribers. Uh, started in late August, so just just happy to see how the pod been growing and everybody uh supporting definitely definitely appreciate uh ot for coming on the show uh asked him back in uh november because like i said always been following them boys but what uh made me uh even reach out to him was that virtual digital <laughs> uh the virtual uh defensive coordinator stuff i thought that was the most hilarious thing in the world uh, god like he was really taking this stuff serious though I gotta, I gotta put it on the real man i've been playing i was putting it in my story i ain't gonna cap bro you you'll go viral with that dog because <laughs> you were like my and wife crazy... post too you saw the one when i uh she was asking me questions like she was the interviewer mm-hmm yeah, so I might I'm gonna try to include it. I think I think the one thing that I don't think nobody else realized, like bro, you uh post like you probably doing it every game, but the only ones you will post is when y'all winning. Facts, facts, facts. I said, oh, he don't want to post the ones. I ain't post no post. <laughs> Especially the blowouts, bro. I said, I'll, oh, I'll, post, yeah. loss, I'll post loss next year. That'd be funny too. Oh yeah, man. I I just appreciate you coming on the show, man. Uh, showing love. Uh, next, we've got a, uh, another special guest, but this is our first official uh, bit time guest on the show, like actually doing the show. So, as always, how we always end it. As 
a fellow Alabama boy, straight out of Tuskegee, Alabama, 4'6". Fuck Auburn. 